to give you a bit of a background about me, after I graduated university, uh, I was pretty committed to the idea of being some kind of professional uh, investment banker, work insurance, finance, and after I graduated, I joined a really large insurance company. Uh, I was working in their head office on a on a graduate scheme kind of management program. Uh, I can certainly see why a lot of people want to do that. Uh, but after about nine months, I started to realise that it wasn't quite what I wanted. Um, I've been doing a lot of reading at the time. Tim Ferriss's Four Hour Work Week. Also, particularly noteworthy would be Felix Dennis's How to Be Rich. And that literature, in addition to many, many, many other books, made me realize that if you have a certain set of skills combined with the technology that we have available to all of us today, digital technology, there really is no need for, or certainly in many cases, no need for an employer now to come along and create the infrastructure for someone to come along and be an employee. All of the tools, capital, can all be hacked really to allow anyone to work from home and pursue their own forms of enterprise. With that theory in mind, I quit my job in London. I got the bus back up to Sheffield because I had no money and for a few months moved back in with my parents and started a very small digital marketing company uh, which was reasonably successful actually for the first for the first year as I tried to grow the business I got involved with some venture capitalists who came along with a lot of money uh, the last minute though they pulled out unfortunately the legal side wasn't really sorted and had started to hire quite a few staff members before any of that money was in place, which is a mistake. Uh, there was a bit of dishonesty on the side of the venture capitalist, but you know, it was me that was stupid for not getting contracts signed and uh, really just jumping before everything was ready. So after that collapse, I uh, was pretty miserable for a good six months, uh, possibly on the verge of of depression, I guess. Uh, I didn't really know what I was going to do. Felt like I was a failure. Uh, it was a very public failing as well. It's, I had a few of my friends and associates that were involved in the business. And when that collapsed, there was no part of that catastrophe, really, that wasn't public. Uh, and you know, that was difficult to deal with. So, when I got back on my feet, I decided to restart another business, uh, T-shirt printing. Something I had no idea to do, uh, no idea what to do at all. Uh, but I thought I'd give it a go. So I bought all the equipment, used my internet marketing skills to promote the business, and within a few short weeks, we were absolutely jammed with business. Uh, really, really successful. However, just as we took on some really large clients uh, for a festival in Sheffield, most of the machinery started malfunctioning. It was really bad timing. Um, and the day before these t-shirts were gonna be delivered or gonna be printed, um, I just couldn't get any of it out the door. We couldn't print any of the uh, complicated work and maybe got out 10% of what we should have done. That caused big issues. Um, people had obviously lost a bit of money. I'd lost a huge amount of money and I had to pay that back. I couldn't pay it back quick enough for people to get so annoyed that they actually called the police and uh, I had police around at my house. Basically seeing of what I was doing was in any way fraudulent, which it wasn't. My machinery just broke. Um, but anyway, that got all sorted. And it was another 
another entrepreneurial setback really two and a half years in and you know another another venture that hadn't hadn't really succeeded so I had to go back to basics I didn't have any money for any equipment the only capital I had was you know a laptop uh, and back to my parents it was after a few months the the new internet marketing company started to do quite well and to this date, two and a half years later, it's still doing okay. I mean, I'm not rich, definitely not. Uh, I've only got one employee who's in India, who's amazing, Sandeep. But the business is stable. Certainly stable enough to afford a bit of an adventure. And it's the kind of business that I really do just need internet connection. So. With that in mind, I've decided to move to Thailand, and in particular, to Chiang Mai.